Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Lucky Wolf and today I'm going to be doing some more VGC Regulation D on the VGC Regulation D Ranked Ladder. I'm going to be using this team that did get top 16 at the Victory Road Tournament. I'm recording the last weekend, yes. Um, last weekend. So this team is kind of like full sun send send it just send it so we do have the hisselian lilligan and the specs torkoal we also have a scarf charizard there as well um solar power terrifier scarf charizard fluttermane as well so with with the lilligan that gets to double its speed with the chlorophyll ability gets to go fast if the, if the sun's out with the scarf charizard and with the speed boosting fluttermane we do have a fast mode on this team as well as the slower mode with the indeedy with the armorage who can both set trick room and then with the torkoal as our trick room sweeper I will say one thing I absolutely love about this team is the Rocky Helmet on the Indeedee. I was doing some games with this team actually uh, on stream and uh, just to kind of like practice and everything like that. And I did face with the Indeedee, so Rocky Helmet is just super good right now. There's a lot of physical threats, especially with something like the um, Rapid Strike Urshifu, which does hit you three times, so you get three ticks of the um, Rocky Helmet chip damage. But I also did battle and i haven't battled this in a while i also did battle a fully offensive pop bomb terra normal mouse kind of brings me back honestly kind of brings me back uh but the mouse just fully ko'd itself attacking into the ndidi which i'm gonna be honest is a great feeling so i do really like the rocky helmet ndidi um i had been using in regulation c uh, when I used Ndidi Arm Rouge, I have been using a Citrus Berry on the Ndidi, and I think another pretty common item that to see is the Psychic Seed uh, to increase the special defense of Ndidi, but I have really liked the way Rocky Helmet plays. And yeah, okay, we're just gonna kind of, we're just gonna kind of jump into some games and see what the team can do. I will have the, you can see the rental on screen, and I will have the creator, um, I will have the creator's tweet rink, oh my gosh, I will have the creator's tweet linked, hmm, linked in the description down below, and we're gonna jump in some, let's jump in, wow, 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 okay, should I cut that out? Maybe. <laughs> okay, just cut right to here, and it'll be like, and now let's jump into some games. Jumping into our first game, okay, I do see the Heatran, I actually do see the Heatran and the Cresselia, which I, I'm wary of both of those Pokemon. Also double bear. Okay, this is a... Hmm. Not the easiest matchup. Definitely not the easiest matchup. I wonder if the play is to try to... Excuse me, bait the Heatran to Terra Grass. So then I can Heat... Whoa. Then I can hit Heatran for neutral damage with the Fluttermane and with the Arm Rouge. I, I'm... Can I, uh, words. Am I in a place where I can afford to do that? I don't know, this just doesn't feel super safe here. This one definitely feels like a toughie. But maybe if I- I'm, I'm hoping- what, what I'm hoping I can do is if they are Terra Grass, which I think a lot of Heatrans I see are Terra Grass or some are Terra Bug, but I think for the most part Terra Grass. Um, so what I'm hoping is I can bait the Heatran to Terra Grass, so that I can hit them with big expanding forces. I I, I I think that's the play. Okay, they led this, though. That's okay. Okay. I'm gonna after you an eruption here, I think. Simply put. Solar Blade's also a little bit tempting, I'll be completely honest with you. Solar Blade into Terrifier Eruption is also super tempting. 
into the Cresselia. I kind of want to limit. I kind of want to eliminate the Cresselia. Because Cresselia can just go for so much healing. But I, I think. I kind of want to rip the Terra here. I'm not going to lie to you. I kind of want to rip the Terra. But knowing that Bear is in the back. Knowing that Bear is in the back. Um, okay, Heatran comes out. Um, I don't think I can afford to do that, but we'll see. We'll see. Okay, so the Fluttermane has very good natural spadef, so I'm really curious to see how much this does. All of it. Nice. Okay, we do like to see that. We do, in fact, like to see that. So I guess my question here is, do I either close combat or sleep powder to keep them honest? And still eruption. Okay. I could alternatively Solar Blade here. Okay, I have to remember, I have these two in the back. Okay. Okay. I, I definitely have outs here. I definitely have outs. I'm gonna Solar Blade an Eruption here. Okay, they are gonna Terra. Did, did, did we pull the bait off? Let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, what are you tearing into? Okay, 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 okay. The Cresselia is still also a huge problem, but we did pull the bait off, so I think that's at least part of it. Okay, you do detect. I was afraid you might, but I think we should still be okay here. That was a nice detect on their part. It's just hard to know, because they could be they could be Scarfers, you know? How much would they do it? Oh my gosh. Too much. I'm gonna Solar Blade again, though. I'm gonna switch in my Ndidi, actually, in Solar Blade, I think. Or... Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna swap in my Ndidi and Solar Blade. Okay. That way, if you try to go for a priority move that fails, I still have my sun up. Um, and he's gonna take a lot of damage here, but if you do decide to attack into the Torkoal slot, maybe covering for a miss or something, then you will take Rocky Helmet damage. Nice, okay, so we, we, got, we caught them with the Aqua Jet. That's very good. We get a Solar Blade off here. They already Terra, so they can't Terra into Grass and they or Fighting type, like something that wouldn't be- doesn't take super effective damage from this. Bop. I love this animation. I'm so Oh, are you Sash? Okay, phew. I was gonna be like, you just lived on one? Okay, you're Sash. Okay. So we see the Sash. Okay, indeed he's alive. Huge. Huge. Okay, I think I tear a grass here. I do think that is my best play. And I think I do have to follow me. Oh, wait, I should actually Terra. Okay. This is so they take Rocky Helmet damage. I think I just have to go for this. I think I just have to go for this. Okay, no swaps. I will absolutely take that. They can't hit me with fire moves either, as I'm also Flash Fire. I still think I probably lose this Cresselia in the endgame. Um... Attack, yep. Which is a little bit frustrating. Okay, let's see. Let's see how much damage we do, I guess, first of all. Okay, they did go Terra Blast. Into my Ndidi. But I'm gonna get- I'm gonna get damage here, I'm pretty sure. But it's gonna be Armourouge versus the world, I don't think Armourouge can win it. Is this a two hit, though? Let's see, we are Life Orb, we are in Terrain. Is this a two-hit? 
Very much yes. Okay, are you leftovers? We haven't seen the item. Yes. Yes. Okay, cool. Do, do, do. And now we have Torkoal. Um, I think we- I think I actually locked myself into Flamethrower, if I'm being completely honest with you. And maybe bank on a miss. Yeah. Because I want to be able to hit the Cresselia that's in the back, right? I need to be able to hit the Cresselia that's in the back. So if they want to protect and swap, which I don't think you ever do here, but if for some reason you do want to protect and swap... So I think- okay, so I think... This, nice. I don't think you protect here, right? There's no way you protect here. Right. Right, are you gonna give me a shot? Are you gonna give me a shot right now? Okay, hold up. Okay, so I do think I played this game okay. Uh, there are turns I could wish I could go back to. W uh, that would be the Urshifu protecting. That would definitely be the Urshifu protecting. Okay, how much damage? No damage. Okay, we have no shot. Yeah, we can't- we can't outlast this Cresselia, unfortunately. This is- this is tough. Okay, hold on. No more sun, also tough. But we still have terrain, so that's good, at the very least. Ooh, nope, I know. Sorry, I know I'm locked into Flamethrower. I know. Okay, so I think- if I played this slightly differently, I would have definitely had a shot. I needed to play this slightly differently, though. Terra blasted into my Torkoal. Okay. We're alive. Hello. Torkoal out here. Okay, we're- Ooh! Hold up! Cresselia, why? Cresselia, why? That's not- I don't even think that's a role, if I'm being completely honest with you. But okay, okay. That's raid boss down. Raid boss down. And what do you go for here? Wait, hold up. Torkoal. No, we don't have sun. No, we don't have sun, never mind. Let's see how much you heal, though. We do confirm that we're faster, and we do get a flamethrower. Wait a second! Are we gonna- b b b b b Are we gonna bring this back? Hold up! Okay, Ursh comes in. Ursh can only KO one, and Ursh is at- Unless- what, like- Earthquake Ursh. No, I don't even- I don't think Ursh can KO both mons. So I just expanding and flamethrower. Yep, you surging. Oh, that's gonna do- okay, yeah. I think you had- like, not that it really matters. Truly not that it really matters, but I think you had to go, um, close combat there to KO, but then, you know, Torkoal's still gonna get you. Wow, nice! Okay, so I do think- Overall, I played that game well. Like, I think the way to beat the Heatran, as you can see from Team Preview, we don't have, like, a super good way to beat the Heatran. Um, so I, I assume the best way to play against the Heatran is to play with your Lilligan and play where they want to go Grass-type Terra so that you can't get a Sleep Powder off, and then you get to do massive amounts of damage now that they're a Grass-type and they don't resist your other big damage dealers that aren't dealing Fire-type damage. So I- but I do want to say I definitely didn't play it perfectly. I think if I could go back, um, I wish I got some chip damage on the Heatran when the Urshifu protected. I think that Protect was definitely readable. Definitely readable, so. But overall, I think that's kind of how you're supposed to play against the Heatran, I would assume. So that felt pretty good. That definitely felt pretty good, because I think the matchups a little can be a little bit suspect at times. But I'll see you. Hopping right on into game two, and what do I see? Okay, I see the Tatsu Dozo, but you know what else I also see here? I do see a... Okay, so I get Uxi, Mesprit, and... As elf confused. I believe that is an as elf. Please feel free to correct me if I'm wrong. I do see an as elf next to a Hisuian. Nope. Yes. Sorry. Uh, a, a Hisuian Zoroark. So you know what I have to ask. You know what I have to ask. Is this going to be explosion? Is this going to be explosion? Because honestly, we don't have any protects on this team. We don't have one. Well, okay, we do have one protect. Wait. We don't have- Wait, did... I don't think we have a protect. I don't think we have a protect. You don't have protect, you don't have protect, you don't have protect, you don't have protect- Okay! Okay! 
Okay, so... Hmm. So, hmm, if I do think it's explosion, a part of me honestly wants to go Lilligant Torkoal here. Close it out with the Armor Rouge in DD. I'll be honest. Ooh, ooh, oh, go oh, goodness. Don't, please. Let's see if I got it. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't know what that face was. Let's see if I got it. Also, my hair kind of looks like a heart. Is it just me? I don't know. Kind of looks like a heart. Anyway, let's see what Ray leads. I, th this, is, this is definitely a tricky, this is definitely going to be tricky to say the least. Okay. Okay, it's single strike. Okay, we led with this. Why? Why would we do that? Asking for a friend. Why would we do that? Okay, what did I even end up bringing? Please tell me I got Torkoal. The timeout gets me again. I just like to talk. I just like to talk so much. Okay, I have this. So I definitely don't trick room here. I definitely a never trick room here, but I can close combat. Either of these could be disguising themselves as a ghost type. Also, either of these could be Terra Ghost. So I'm not sure I want to rip the close combat immediately. I will rip a sleep powder though. I can follow me. I can tear. Do I have to tear a water here? Actually, hold on. I take it back. I sleep powder here. And I'm gonna go razzle dazzle, and I'm gonna say, okay. You freeze dry. Okay, into the little again. Okay. I probably should have followed Mead here. Maybe we could blow into who? The Ndidi. Okay, cool. So you do KO the Ndidi. If I hit the Sleep Powder, though, it's it's looking up. If I can actually land the Sleep Powder, it's definitely looking up. If I miss the Sleep Powder, I think that's pretty awful for us. And we hit it. Okay, cool. So Potential Sash has been broken. So I think I just go Terra Flutter main. And we do confirm, based on the moves, we do confirm that neither of these Pokémon that my opponent has on the field, um, are... words. Neither of them are the Hisuian Zoroark, because we saw Hisuian Zoroark doesn't get either of those two moves, so that's very good to confirm. I'm gonna close combat, and let me see the team. I think Terra Fairy's actually fine here. Let me see, I have- oh, I just have Charizard with no sun. Okay, I can set sun with my Flutter, but I don't think it's worth it here. So I'm gonna close combat, and... Yeah, I think I just have to. Oof. Oof, this is an- this- the timeout order, this was awkward. This was very awkward. But I think I just have to hope that Terra Flutter can run through. They could also very well be Terra Poison. Um... And they could KO my, they could KO my Lilligant, hope for a first turn awake, that kind of stuff. That's very reasonable for them to go for. And they do go for it, presumably. Presumably. We still have Charizards, that's pretty good. Should be Terra Poison. Oh, ter that's also fine. And terrible for me. By fine, I mean terrible. I wish I close combat at that spot. Okay, they had no chance to wake up there as I did sleep powder them last turn. That was their guaranteed turn of sleep. We confirm no scarf on the Ursh. Okay, that's actually really good damage. Okay, but they do go wicked blow. Okay, okay. I do have Heat Wave coming out now. I think I just have to hope that Heat Wave connects. I think we. I have to hope that they stay asleep and that Heat Wave connects. <laughs> The timeout, sir, okay. There's no Heatran lurking in the back, right? No, okay. I almost want a sunny day here, to be completely honest with you. I actually kind of like the sunny day. That way, if they do go for a Water-type move on the Charizard, it will be... No, I think I... S I'm 
gonna go Dazzle. I think I could have Sunny Day there, though, definitely. Okay, no first turn awake, huge for us. We do go Dazzle. I maybe should have Shadow Bolt? I don't think this turn was particularly clean. Though, I don't think this game was particularly clean, because the timeout is very awkward. We hit the Heat Wave. Okay, thank you, Charizard. Appreciate ya. Yeah, the timeout here is very awkward. We just, we just kind of brought some Pokemon that don't have the best... I don't know if that's the right way to say it, but it's like I didn't bring Torkoal for the Charizard or the Lilligant, so both of them are don't have Sun. I, I can definitely go Sunny Day now, which I might have to do. Dozo, okay. I actually don't think Sunny Day is... Well, it's just tough not knowing what kind of Dozo this is, right? I kind of want a sunny day here, though. Like, if Dozo's running... See, if it's running EQ, then that's not really helpful to me. But if it's running Order Up and something like a... I can also get a burn. And something like the water move, then a sunny day is helpful, but it's just like not knowing if that's what it's running. I don't want to waste a turn going for sunny day and then have them just go for earthquake and KO my flutter here. Okay, we do go Moonblast. Do 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 do. That's actually hefty damage. We missed the Tatsu, obviously, but do we hit the Dozo? No, we do not. We love to see that. Uh, I sh I I should I should have gone I should have gone for Sunny Day I should have gone for Sunny Day there That's unfortunate That is really unfortunate It's just not It's just not knowing their set But honestly We may have still been KO'd to the Sunny Day It's not like it's resisted or anything So we very well may have still been KO'd They did take a decent amount from They did take a decent amount from Recoil though Yeah this this one was definitely timeout pain Um. To be completely honest, because we, we, we didn't- we just didn't get a lot of Pokemon that- Like, we got the Indeedee, but then we didn't get the Armor Rouge, and then we got two Pokemon that really want the Sun, and then we didn't get Torkoal. You know, so I was trying to bring Torkoal here. And I do think Torkoal and Lilligant could have been a very good lead, um, into this. And then I probably would have closed it out with Armor Rouge and Dee, I think? I think that's probably the way that I would have handled it. And we had we did go for two heat waves, and we did only miss one of them. Okay, now we only now we went for three heat waves, and we only missed one of them. So that's not even that bad. I think knowing that they're a wave crash, I do wonder. I do wonder if it was worth it to sunny day there. I really, really, really do wonder if it was worth it to sunny day there, but I just don't know. Yeah, so I think if I if I I think I would still bring the Pokemon I was planning to bring originally. But then, timeout, unfortunately. So, we're gonna jump into game three, and hopefully... Hopefully I don't... Hopefully I don't time out. But, um, I'll catch ya in... Hopping into game three. Oh. Okay, we do see another Heatran. Which isn't surprising. I think Heatran's very good and very common in this meta. Um, along with another Reggie Drago. Wait, have we not seen Reggie Drago? Wait, I'm so confused. Wait. No, I don't think we've seen Reggie Drago. Sorry. We see another Heatran, and we see the Reggie Drago, as well as the... Whoa, the name has escaped me. What's, what's the snail's name? What's the snail's name? Hold on, give me a second, give me a second. No timeouts, but give me a second. Mo Chien? I think, I think, I think, I think, oh my gosh, just like booped out of my head. Okay. Also, very possibly could be Rain Dance here. I think I might have to play this game in the same way that I did last game, but I feel much less comfortable leading Sun because I am scared of the Rain Dance. I am most definitely scared of the Rain Dance on the Tornadus. What do I think I want to do here? Oh, this is a really tough one. I'm gonna click.
click this in. I'm gonna click in what I have clicked in. Um, I do want to at least threaten my weather, I think. I I'm gonna see- so, we did play against a Heatran in the first game, and... I don't know if I did this correctly, because I think I- unfortunately, I do need to bring the Lilligan, even if it's just a bait on the Heatran. Heatran Tornadoes, okay, just- we got some threats! Is it worth going for Trick Room here? Let's see. I can Aura Sphere. That's very real. And I do have Earth Power on the Torkoal. Okay. All those are real. All those are real. Okay. I think I want to go tr Trick Room? I think I want to go Moonblast Trick Room. I think I want to try to get Tornadus out of here. Okay, Heatran actually just swaps. So I will take that. What comes in? Flutter. Okay. Okay. I feel like maybe Dazzle was in fact the play here. And you are boosting in your what now? Speed. Okay, cool. So we are- okay, you can't taunt because I am in Sight Drain, so that's- Oh, and you actually don't have the Flutter. Okay, that's okay, I think. I get this big Moonblast- oh, actually not as big as I thought. Special attack drops, that is very nice. That is definitely very nice. Um, definitely not as much damage as I thought, but still very reasonable damage. Is this safe? I feel like I'm gonna pl I, I kinda wanna play this very aggressive. I wanna make sure they don't just stall out my Trick Room turns. If they go for Moonblast on my Flutter, they go for Moonblast on my Flutter. Sorry, if they go for Shadow Ball on my Flutter, they go for Shadow Ball on my Flutter. But if they do that, like, I have the threat of follow me on the board. So, I think I'm just gonna do this. Because I think going for Shadow Ball while I can just follow me with a normal type is a little bit suspect. Okay, a little bit of damage, not too bad. Speed fall. Oh, that's actually so good! Double speed drop? Okay, I see you, Tornadus. It's kind of helping me, though, to be co- Oh! You reset the trick room. Okay, it's fine. That's fine. I kind of expected that. Now the speed drop is very bad. They lived on one, and they got the speed drop. And they got the speed drop super bad. Actually, I don't think I could afford to do that. I'm gonna go Dazzle. Let's all back into my Ndidi, I think. Yeah. I think, I think that's what I- I think that's what I have to do. But tr double speed drop, and I don't know if that's a roll, but that was a v extremely bad live for me. And we do confirm it is Flutter- sorry, it is Trick Room on the Flutter. I would assume Trick Room and Imprison. They do- yeah, they Shadow Ball. Like, that's completely the correct play. Unfortunately, we don't even have speed ties. We don't even have, like, speed- now we can't speed tie because they did get the speed drop. So it's Shadow Ball? Okay, they do also just- they triple connected their bleak wind. Terrible. <laughs> really terrible stuff. I'm gonna click Trick Room and I am gonna go Expanding Force here. I think I'd probably go Grass-type here. They can imprison, but that means- they can imprison, but that means I'm getting a, um, they're a minus one special attack as well, so I'm a little bit less scared to do. Okay. They do swap. I'm a little bit less scared to do this, I think. Heatran comes back in, yep. The Heatran is gonna be very difficult to play against, but if they click in prison, that's fine because I'm getting chip damage. If they attack and I get trick room, that's also fine because then I get my trick room up. And then I should be able to KO them next turn. Okay, let's see. Let's see what they got. Yeah, sure. I don't think this KOs, but if it does, that'd be pretty awesome. 
guys, so we got our trick room. So they actually do did go for the imprison, but because we KO'd them this same turn, we got our trick room up. Which is actually kind of nice. Yep. Okay, cool. Okay. So far, trick room has been clicked three times this game. Twice by me, once by my opponent. Cool. Our Drago comes out. Okay. This is gonna be like room service, Reggie Drago. Like, I'm ready. I'm ready. Steel Terror Reggie Drago would be terrible, but I think I have not much else to do besides click these moves. They haven't terrored yet, so that's why I, that's one of the reasons I'm saying that, but I think I just have to click this. If we can pull a little comeback this game, that would be kinda wild. That would be kinda wild, to be honest. Okay, we do hit him with a super effective Razzle Dazzle. Hello, Indeedy. I see ya, buddy. Going for it. And we get the expanding. Okay, this is neutral damage. Like, Regidrago's- Oh my gosh, Heatran took so much damage. Okay, Regidrago's gone. Heatran is very low. I think we can actually bu 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 pull a little comeback. Like, can you KO something here? Oh, you flash cannon. Okay. So the answer should be no. Yeah, as it is. As it is. No more weirdness. It's a little bit annoying. Tornadus comes in. Okay, Tornadus, we saw Taunt, and we saw Bleak Wind. Do you also have Protect? I feel like Protect is really good on Tornadus, but I feel like Tornadus has so many moves. You want Taunt, you want Speed Control, you want an attacking move, you want Rain Dance. Like, you could even be, like, Leer. So I'm gonna Expanding there. How more turns? Trick with three more turns. Okay. I'm gonna get my Torkoal in. I am gonna get my Torkoal in here. Oh, they're gonna cancel. Okay, so they probably don't have Protect. Whoa! Whoa, are we like two for two against Heatran? Are we two for two against Heatran? That's kind of wild. That is actually kind of wild. We didn't even bait this Heatran into going for the Terra. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Okay. Yeah, so I think this game, even though it definitely looked a little bit suspect, when I went for Trick Room, then they went for Trick Room, and then they lived on a sliver of, of HP, then the fact that they went for... The fact that they went for Imprison, and then I KO'd them that same turn, so we got Trick Room up again, and then they really just couldn't stand... They really couldn't withstand the power of Expanding Force in terrain. Life orb expand life orb expanding force in terrain plus a little bit of da I gotta put the respect on the NDD. Plus a little bit of dazzling gleam chip damage. So that one also, even though it was like a little rocky in the beginning, I think um I think I played around the imprison as the imprison kind of as best I could and then just kind of swept in trick room because we still had three more turns of trick room. So they did forfeit telling me I don't think they had protect on their tornadus and they really, Heatran really doesn't have a great, unless they are running, unless it's Terra Bug on the Heatran. And they go for Terra Blast. They don't, like, I don't have a great way to hit the Heatran, but they also don't have a great way to hit the Armorer. So I think it's, like, kind of in, I think we were, like, kind of in a war of attrition, you know, that, that, that kind of thing. But I'm going to call it there for today. Three games. I'm going to do my best. Thank you all so much for the feedback, by the way, on the last video. Um, I think someone said that they liked a slightly longer video. So I'm going to do my best to be doing three games, unless they're super long games, like when I'm using Gudra. Hisumi and Gudra. I'm going to do my best to do three games. So I am going to call it there for today. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Please, if you did enjoy, feel free to leave a like, comment, or subscribe. Not that none of that. I do hope everybody has an absolutely amazing day. Okay, for real. Bye!